Welcome to episode three of Impello Insights. Today, we're gonna to be talking about microbes and enzymes. So a lot of growers typically use both microbial products and enzyme products. But today, we're gonna to explain why that's not necessary and is even redundant. In the wide world of microbes, there are a lot of different types of enzymes that can be produced. And this is the very first point that we need to hit on. Microbes are fantastic at producing enzymes because it's how they help themselves acquire food from the soil or from their environment. In a product like Tribus, we use a number of bacillus microorganisms. Bacillus are champion enzyme producers. But what's interesting about Tribus is that because the bacteria are all in their sporulated form, there are no enzymes in the bottle and the microbes have to start growing in the soil or in their environment before they start producing enzymes. By contrast, Continuum also contains three of the same bacillus species plus a penibacillus species, which produces a chitinase enzyme. So you get a little bit additional enzyme production. But what's interesting here is that it's a combination of sporulated and actively growing microbes. So you have some enzymes already in the bottle. One way we think about microbes and enzymes is that microbial products like Tribus are like marathoners. They're very good at producing enzymes, but over a long period of time. An enzyme product by itself, which a lot of growers use, is like a sprinter. You'll get the immediate action of the enzymes that are in the bottle, but it will start to dwindle after a while. And with something like Continuum, you get the best of both worlds. Fast action from the enzymes that are already there, plus the continued performance of the enzymes that the microbes produce. Thanks for tuning in to episode three of Impello Insights. We'll catch you next time.